a lot of times while you're in a uh, RV or camper and you're camping, sometimes making a meal is a little tough. But what I do, everything on campsite, everything's paid for already. The generally, uh, the electric and water and everything else. So I save my propane that's on board. And I have electric hot plates, electric skillets, electric griddles, electric water boilers, electric everything, because it's already paid for. And I saved my propane. With that being said, the good old trusty crock pot. I have two of them. <laughs> Actually, I have three. Uh, this one, which is a six quart, a smaller one, which is a three quart. And then I have a server crock pot set, which is three crock pots in one setting on one deal and it's a quart and a half each crock pot so i have an, an array of uh, crock pots and right now i'm doing what's called a mississippi roast and it is simple to do so simple you get a beef or a chuck roast actually this time i'm using a deer roast but you get your roast, place it in the crock pot, then you get a package of ranch seasoning, just ranch dressing, seasoning, just a package, dry powder. You sprinkle the dry powder onto the roast. You get a package of McCormick's Au Jus gravy mix, and you sprinkle that on the roast. You put one stick of butter on top of the roast and then shower it. It says about five or six, but I put, oh, about half a jar of uh, pepperoncinis. The, uh, oh, the pickled uh, banana peppers. Uh, right there. The pepperoncini. Pepperoncini. Love them. They're amazing. They're great on sandwiches, too. And start your crock pot and put it on low for about eight hours ish. Uh, I didn't have time today, so I put it on high for about mm, three hours. And now I've got it on low for probably another three or four hours. Uh, just kind of a, a, a bump to it to get it going. The thing with this is it's great for a meal tonight as a, as a roast, as a pot roast. And then second... Oh, air conditioner could found. A uh, second. It's amazing as a full pork sandwich if you're using pork. If you're not, this is deer in the case. Just shred it and make sure you shred some pepperoncinis in there because it's amazing. It doesn't call for onions, but I do. We cut up about a half onion, a large onion, and put in there with the the, the, uh, the half uh, onion rings. And just for flavor and aesthetics mainly because it's amazing. I love it. Try it. It's simple, but it's amazing. This is my go-to pot roast recipe. And I've talked to some friends that I have in Mississippi, and they said they have no idea where that uh, recipe come from because they've never heard of it, and it's not a, it's not a Mississippi roast. But that's what it's called, the Mississippi roast. And it's so simple. That's all the ingredients you use. Do not put any liquid or water in there with it. It makes its own juice. It makes its own water, and the butter... It's just simply amazing. Give it a shot. Give it, give it a shot. Give it a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So, thumbs up would be great. Share and share away, people. I love it. And until next time, we'll catch you later.